what went near is doing to Kashmir is about the interests of Modi and the BJP party. It's not about making the world a better place. It's not about ensuring that the Kashmiris have rights and the injustices that they have suffered for decades and decades are reformed. Because as you know so well, what should have been happening now is the Kashmiris were given their rights, that we listen to Kashmiris and resolve the issues and the crimes that have gone on for so long. Last year I had the opportunity to go to Kashmir. I went to the line of control, to the refugee camps, and I was shocked at how serious the situation is and deeply worried that there are so few people in the wide world amongst the journalists, amongst politicians, amongst the decision makers who understand of the shocking crimes that continue against the Kashmiri people. about the pellet guns that are particularly being aimed at young people, but all people, people who are losing their sight because of these crimes. And that is what should be addressed, but instead, India has gone in there and to shut down all communications into what's so is deeply shocking and, think, and I think that is one of our first demands, that India needs to ensure that the internet, the mobile phone use is restored the journalists are allowed in, the people can report on what is happening there. Otherwise, clearly, the crimes will continue. I appreciate it's very cold. It's fantastic everybody's got together tonight. We have another protest here on Sunday at 11 a.m. I hope we can all get together again. But what I also hope is that we can continue a conversation about what are our demands for Kashmir. Being, being very honest about it, I'm deeply committed to the cause, but I often find it hard to explain in a few sentences exactly what people like myself who support the Kashmiris, what we're asking for. I can explain about the pellet guns, I can explain about all the shocking things that they've done to the Constitution at the moment. But how do we sum it up? And I think that's where we need to get together because our movement that here has come together tonight has to continue. India is doing shocking crimes against many people and it will take